Our PC's behind us. I mean, it just turned. I mean, it's. <laughs> Are you watching my stream? <laughs> that's why. That's why you're flexing the freaking camera. What's going on everybody, DSD Ghost here, back with another build video for you. Uh, I will be doing a bunch of 1.7 build videos. If you have any requests, go ahead and leave it in the comments section below. Uh, today is the D3, or better known as Defense build. Uh, this is my revised one because the one that I did make was before the nerf. And uh, D3 is still viable, it's not as strong as it used to be, but it is still a great build. Um, so as always, I will go through my gear, and then I will show you a PvP clip of me using this in the Dark Zone at the end. Now keep in mind that I use Dark Zone clips, not Last Stand. If you watch a build video and it's a Last Stand clip, I would not watch it, because Last Stand buff your stats, and it's not true numbers. So. Um, let's get right into it. Alright everybody, so here is my D3 or defense build. Um, now I have done, and whenever I do a build video, I have tried many different versions of the build. Uh, different stats, different attachments, different weapons. So when I give you a build video, I don't just say, Oh, this is the first one I put together. It works. Let me release that. Uh, I've tested out different versions of... You know, three and twos, three and ones, three one and ones, things like that. Um, so, when I give you a build, it's the one that I've seen works the best and flows the best and has the most damage and survivability. Uh, this isn't a full blown damage, it's not a full blown tank, it is a damage survival build. So, let's get into it. Let's look at the gear first and then my weapons. Uh, my, well, first, I'm running. 3 D3, a Tactician, and a Vigorous Chest Piece with the Ninja Bike Backpack. Obviously, Ninja Bike gives you the uh, missing gear piece that you know of the set that you're using. So, I have 3 D3, so I have 4, and I have 1 Tactician, so I have 2. So, my Chest Piece is a Vigorous Chest Piece, Rolled Electronics, 1972 Armor, Rolled Health, Skill Haste, and Ammo Capacity. With this build, you're going to be aiming for all Skill Haste and Crit Chance along with Health. Um, so it's Rolled Electronics with Skill Haste, Health, and Ammo Capacity. I have two Firearms mods on here. Now, I have one of them Rolled Health because I have enough Skill Haste rolled on my gear along with the Tactician piece uh, that gives me 50% Skill Haste. So this is a max Skill Haste D3 build. Um, so I only needed one health mod and the rest are all skill haste. Uh, so two firearms mods, one skill haste, one health on my chest piece. My mask is a D3 mask, uh, 1267 firearms, 944 armor, uh, crit chance and burn resistance. And then you have a electronics mod with skill haste. My knee pads are 1504 armor, 1264 firearms with uh, health, disrupt, sh burn, and shock. Cannot ask for better knee pads right here. It has health, disrupt, burn, shock. Exactly what I would want as my minor attributes. Uh, and then it's rolled firearms with, you know, decent armor. Now, I have a stamina mod on here with skill haste. And this is where things get a little bit different. Uh, on my other videos for D3, I had all... Ballistic Shield Damage Mods. Now, with the nerf to D3, the nerf that we got, as you can see, as your set 3 bonus, is you don't have the extra 30% uh, shield health. So you need to try and make that up somehow. So I have two Ballistic Shield Health Mods on this build, which gives me 14, which is about half of what we lost. 
and then you have uh, two Ballistic Shield damage mods. And I've seen that that works pretty well. Um, you know, the damage to elites is pretty much useless. This, this build, is, it, that third set, in my opinion, sucks ass. So, you know, we're, I'm trying to make up for that with the mods I put on here. So, Ballistic Shield Health, that works. Two Ballistic Shield Healths, and uh, the max that I've seen is 7%. I have one 7% and one 6.5. Uh, so, but if you have two 7%, that's 14, which is, you know, about 15, round it up, and then you, that's half of what you lost. My Ninja Bike Backpack is an electronics rolled health, ammo capacity, I have a farm with, uh, skill haste, and then I have my two ballistic shield damage mods, my gloves, thousand armor, SMG, crit damage, and skill haste. Now, what I would change on my gloves is that crit damage to... Uh, crit chance. I want the max amount of crit chance possible since I'm not going to be using a pulse. Uh, I would rather swap out crit damage for crit chance, but this is what I've got so far. Pretty nice gloves. Then my holster. I have a tactician holster. Uh, everything's rolled in the 1200s. Armor's pretty low, but has skill haste on here. And then I have my last ballistic shield health mod. My weapon of choice is an MP5. Uh, it's doing 17k damage with Adept, Responsive, and Deadly. Again, you're going for crits, so I use Adept. A lot of people on my previous video complained, oh, why are you using Adept? Put Competent, blah, blah, blah. Nope, I'm using Adept. Suck it. My weapon mods on here, or weapon attachments, are all based on crit chance, crit damage, and headshot damage, but mainly the main stat is crit damage. My magazine is 120 mag size, reload speed, rate of fire. My scope is crit damage, headshot damage, crit chance. Muzzle is crit damage, crit chance, headshot damage. And then my grip is crit damage, stability, and reload speed. Now, my secondary weapon. Uh, the rolls aren't the best on here, but my assault rifle is for getting my signature skill back faster. I'm sure everybody has seen the videos and the, the complaints that Determined gives you um, a cooldown on your skills, especially now your um, super. So I have this so that, you know, once I'm finished killing players and if I pop my super, whatever, uh, I can whip out my uh, lightweight. And I have determined, accurate, and skilled on here. Accurate, easier to get some headshots. Uh, skilled headshots give you your signature resource by 5%. And then you have your determined, which reduces killing target, reduces all skill cooldowns by 7.5%, 7.50%. Uh, my mods on here mag size, crit chance, rate of fire, crit damage, crit chance, headshot, stability. Um, that's where things change. I have one stability mod on my uh, assault rifles on every build that I run unless you know the gears that I'm using has stability on it But I like that extra stability so I have one of those on there and then crit damage real speed and stability on my grip Now we'll go look at my character stats Okay, so we're running 30% uh, chance on my assault or my SMG then you have adept Rocking 7.50. Um, if I had it on my gloves, you'd be in the high 30s or high 40s, rather, when Adept is proc. But that's where I want to sit, and that's what I have. Then you go to your skill haste, max skill haste. I'm 1% off because of my gear. It's not all fully maxed out, but I just gotta roll my gear real quick, and then you'll be at 50% skill haste, so max skill haste with this D3 build. Let's go look at my skills and my abilities. So I'm using the reactive targeting uh, shield. It does not give you any additional bonus, but the shield is a little bit bigger, so I use that one. And then you can check out my health, which is in the one millions. That's a pretty good area of where you want to be. Uh, a player needs, I tested it out, a player needs a clip and a half to take out my shield after I uh, pop a med kit to give it some more health. So you have a clip and a half to kill a player, which you kill them quicker than that with this build. So your health should be okay. Now you gotta keep something in mind when using this new build is you can't take on, I mean you can take on like five, six people with this build, but 
if they all focus fire you and focus your shield, your shield's going. All right. With the nerf to it, you get 20%. Every other player has 20% damage against your shield, and you have 30%. Uh, well, with my build, 15% less health on him. So you got to keep that in mind when you're going into combat with this shield build. Um, you'll see in my PvP clip that I'm moving around a lot um, and constantly trying to limit the amount of people that are shooting at my shield. You also want to keep in mind that the shield still does really well against turrets. Uh, I think there's a clip in my PvP section that shows me shooting turrets, blah blah blah, but it's great for taking out turrets and it's especially great still for taking out players. Uh, you can see my damage increase is 18%, um, so uh, when I have my shield proc'd I have an additional 18% damage on top of that and then I'm using a booster shot that gives me 95,000 uh, health and my cooldown is about 21 uh, seconds. My talents that I'm running, uh, obviously I'm, I was running this with a uh, team so I have triage, strike back, combat medic and then I decided to put on the move on which helps just in case someone gets around my shield. If I was running solo I would trade triage for critical save and combat medic for precision and that is my d3 build guys so let me go over what builds I did test I tested my original build which was three predator uh, 3d3 or two predator sorry rather two predator 3d3 with the ninja bike everything all my mods were um, you know uh, ballistic shield damage I tried out the two pred 3d3 with the ninja bike with the current mods I have on now. It was nice, but I like the booster. So, the difference between the two builds is only 1,000 damage on your weapon. Your crits pretty much hit the same, everything hits the same, all the stats are the same, just minus 1,000 damage on your uh, weapon. So, 1k damage, so instead of having, I have 17k on here, I had 18 with the other build. But, you don't have a booster, so you don't get that extra damage, um, or that extra uh, toughness, because you're only running 300 toughness, um, you don't get that extra toughness, and I just, I didn't really like it. You know, the damage was nice, but it's only, you know, I'd rather have the booster shot with the additional toughness over 1,000 damage, 1k damage on my weapon. Uh, as you can see here, my farm is 5,600, toughness 300, and my skill power is about 186. And uh, I, I've seen that this is the best balanced D3 build that I've tried out. Uh, I've tried other combinations, 3D3 to Banshee. The damage is, it's not worth it. I'd rather have a booster. I'd rather get the overheal from the booster. That's why I like Vigorous. And I'd rather get my booster back quicker from Solo. So that's where the Tactician comes into play. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Again, I will be doing build videos for every build pretty much every build in 1.7 if you have any build requests go ahead and leave it in the comments below and stick around for the pvp clip of me using this in the dz if you have any questions guys leave a comment below uh thanks for watching have a great rest of your day god damn it god damn oh Back the up. Where you at? Get out of my shield. Oh, you see how far he pushed me? God damn. God damn. Oh. Oh, hell no. That's, that's the play. Alright. Oh, you won. Frick, man. He's down. Not secret lines. <laughs> they don't do anything. <laughs> I need to run. 
Man, there's like two right <laughs> there's no NPCs behind you! Did you call yourself a YouTuber? No. Oh, crash. Oh, no. He's down. Snake, you cheating on Ghost? Okay. Huh? No. <laughs> hey, Snake. Where'd you go? <laughs> oh, oh you're not dead. melee, stupid. <laughs> well, I can see the fight from uh, <laughs> up here. Uh, you just watch his health go down, that's what you can see. Yeah. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh, uh, Snake. Snake is a safe guard. Thank you. Snake guard. <sighs> a safe guard, not Snake. It's Snake guard. Oh, oh, I got you! Wait, <laughs> Snake, what, what are you trying to farm for? <laughs> nah, if you... Oh, they're all dead. I don't even think they knew I was here. To tour, he won't die. Fight! 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 Dead eye, right? Fight. Why did it hit so damn hard? Dead eye, right? <laughs> Got him. Can you jump? Oh, no, that, uh, that's, uh, that's, uh... Snicks. All you did, all you. I won't take the description. What the, what? what oh, the bad bit is so cool. Oh my god. What is I gave him, uh, way earlier. He came with uh, response and swift to the box. Oh, uh, when is uh, the guy standing uh, right there? I got him. How many <clears throat> fucking med kits do I need to pop? Please. Like, I spam the fucking make it button and things like, nah, you just, just What? Oh my god, I'm running so slow. No, no, no. That's not fun. Two down. He's right down. I can't get through the doorway, guys. So it's all up to you guys. You can't get through. Nope. <laughs>